Hello everyone, I'm excited to get back to learning and I hope you are as well. Your teachers have been working hard to develop online lessons for you. They've used much of the feedback you provided in the practice day survey. Thank you for that. Watch your email for another survey requesting feedback once our online classes are rolling. Included in this video are important reminders and tips for our first full week of online school. Remember, we start bright and early on Monday, March 30th. Your teachers will send their weekly plans to your school email by 8 a.m. every Monday. They'll also post their plans online on My School or Teams, whichever platform they typically use. We know that consistency and predictability can make online learning easier to manage. For this reason, we are following our regular Monday through Friday class schedule. Each class period will start at its scheduled time. We will keep the four minute passing times to allow you to prepare for your next class or to get up and stretch or move around. Some familiar voices have prepared a daily convocation for the first week. We will post it by 9.30 a.m. each day. The following week, you can look forward to convocations from our seniors in campus ministry too. For the immediate future, we will not have a weekly Canvas session. We will let you know if that changes. Your classes will occur in two ways, synchronous and asynchronous. Synchronous learning happens in real time, such as a Teams meeting, whereas asynchronous learning happens offline when you submit assignments, watch videos, and access websites. Your teachers will use a combination of the two during the week. You are expected to attend your live synchronous class meetings. Teachers will take attendance. You can expect daily work just like if you were in the school building. Make sure you complete all your assignments and meet the deadlines your teachers have set. As you adjust to online learning, you may find keeping track of when to be online for a live meeting or when to submit work by the end of the class period slightly more challenging. It's very different from walking from class to class and having your friend in the hallway remind you. Have no fear, we've created a couple of tools and compiled some tips to help you stay organized. For example, you can use the weekly calendar to keep track of your schedule to attend live meetings, post a response to a discussion board, play a game with your class, and other tasks. It's available for download on your My School dashboard. I've linked a few more of these resources in the description box below. We don't expect you to sit at your computer all day. Take breaks when you're not expected to be online. If you use the weekly calendar, it'll be effortless to spot times to take some breaks. And of course, practice social distancing. I encourage you to create a dedicated space in your home to work. Keep it well stocked with supplies such as your textbooks, notebooks, pens, pencils, headphones, and post-it notes. Make sure you're also building in time for relaxation, connecting with others, and getting outside. But of course, practice social distancing and wash your hands. Our counselors have some tips for you on their webpage. Visit their Twitter page for daily information and tips. See the links in the description below. Check your email regularly. Your teachers and other staff members will be emailing you. Stay connected with your classmates via email, text, and social media. If you run into technology issues, let us try to help. Visit the Student Online Learning webpage linked below for more information and links to resources. Most importantly, I want you to know that I have confidence in you and our teachers to make this online experience the best it can be. While we can't yet be together, I hope you will stay connected to each other and all of us. And please know every adult in this school is here for you. So this week, work hard, stay organized, and reach out for help. The skills you use in the coming weeks will serve you well in the future. God bless and go fire.